everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're just going to have a really quick tutorial with an introduction to vellum uh, being embossed and then coloured in with alcohol markers. So what we're going to be using today is the Couture Creations alcohol markers. Uh, you can buy these in a box like this or you can buy them individually. Um, I suggest if you like them, I love them. Um, you'll just have to find a stockist near you. Uh, these ones um, you can get from Image Plus Scrapbook Superstore in Tassie. So I'll add the link in the description below if you're interested. But they are really good and they've got um, a really fine... Actually, let me show you. So one end is a hard bullet end. So it's got a fine tip on it. The other end is a brush end and it's really good if you're doing big areas but I'll show you that as we go. But they are really great. So we're going to be using those and we're going to be embossing vellum and then colouring it in with the alcohol markers and then die cutting them out to make a card. So this is just a sample of what can be done. So let me show you how I have done this. So to start off with, we need some vellum. So I've got a Couture Creation stamp press here and I've got my piece of vellum already on the card and I've got some stamps on here and they should all line up there ready to go. So to start off with, using an embossing buddy, gently rub that over your vellum so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to wherever there's no Versamark. So I'm going to be using the Versamark for the embossing to stick to, embossing powder to stick to. So we'll just ink up the stamps. Make sure that they're really well covered. It's very hard to see because it's clear. So <laughs> you've only got to hope that you've got all the areas covered. So hopefully I have. We'll find out soon. And then we'll stamp that onto the vellum. Give it a good press and a rub to make sure it's all stamped out. Okay, now the moment of truth. So we're going to take that out of there. Just get some paper. And I've got black embossing powder here. You can use any colour embossing powder that you like. I'm just going to cover all of that Versamark with embossing powder. And hopefully it's all covered. Shake off the excess. Okay, I've missed a little bit up here. So I'm just going to tip some more powder back onto here. Go over this area. Oh no, I didn't quite get it all with the um, embossing stamp. So, But that doesn't matter because I don't really need all those butterflies. Now I'll just pop this back into the jar. And then we shall heat and emboss it. Let me just wipe up my bit of powder that I've spilt there. So now, using a heat gun. So when you're using the heat gun, heat it up before you put it to the vellum. So I'm just going to turn it on. So sorry about the noise. So once you get it heated up, when you put it on, don't wave it or it's not going to melt properly. So just obviously don't burn yourself because it's very hot. But as you see it melting, move your heat gun. Like so. Like I say, don't burn yourself. They are very, very hot.
And we're just doing the butterflies. So hopefully you can see that melting as I go. It goes shiny and gets raised as it melts. And I think that's got it all. So that's now all embossed. So now once that's cool, we're going to then colour it in. So what we're going to do is flip it over. It's all cool. So we're going to flip it over and we're actually going to colour in at the back of it. So we'll start off with the balloon. So I'm going to be using geranium and yellow. So what you can do is with the bullet end for the fine areas, you can just sort of outline where you want it to go and then colour it in. So you just work out where you want what colours and off you go. Now if you've got a bigger area that you're doing, like so here, uh, these ones are a bit bigger, so I'm going to line it with the bullet end. And then using the brush end, just finish colouring it in. I mean, if you've got a nice steady hand, you can use the brush end as well to do your initial lining. I'll just turn that around. Like so. So then the other colour we're going to use on this one, as I said, is the yellow. So I'll just do that. So it's going to be alternate red and yellows. And then I'll do a brown basket and then I'll do the little elephant in grey and the little mouse in a brown colour. So you just keep colouring it all in on the back of your paper until they're all coloured in, which is one that I've done a bit earlier to save a little bit of time. So you can see they've all been coloured in. Then, if you've got a die, you can then die cut these out. If you don't have dies, just with a pair of scissors, you can fussy cut them out by hand. The advantage using vellum, if you're using it with a die to cut them out, is to start off with, we'll get some low tack adhesive and we're going to put that on the die in a couple of spots. If I can find the start. Oh, where is it? Oh, I can't find the start of the... Hang on, I'll grab another one. Here we go. So we're just going to put a couple of strips of that on the die, on the back of the die. Actually, I'll better put that in shot so you can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to lay that die on its back and attach the die so the die is going on the front of the um, vellum so by having the vellum we can actually line the die up to suit so you know exactly where it's going to cut and especially with something like this we've got our little ropes there so we don't want it to cut off our ropes. So we're going to line that up in the die. So yeah, I think that's got it. And give that a press so that the tape sticks to the vellum. And you can see on the other side here, I've already done the butterflies and the elephant. So they're already attached. 
And we'll just run that through the die machine. So, just sit that in there. Put the top of it on and cut them out. Now that cracking is completely normal if you're new to um, die cutting. That cracking is absolutely normal when you're die cutting, so don't panic. A lot of people think that it's breaking the plate, but it's not. Okay, so we'll just pop that out of the way. And then we'll just pop our little pieces out. Okay. Here we go. So there's our balloon. Actually, if I put it on a white background, it'll stand out a lot more. And there's one of the butterflies that I've coloured in. So all the other butterflies are cut out. I just You can cut them out before you colour them in if you prefer, but I just find it's easier to do it after they've been cut out. So we don't need all those ones for now anyway. And we'll just get out our little elephant. Oh, that one hasn't quite cut through properly so I'm just going to do that manually okay take off the tape so I'll just finish cutting this one off manually not sure why that didn't cut properly the rest of it did it's not hard to cut out anyway and that's and that one done. And then from there, you can just attach them to a card. So I haven't given measurements on my card base because you can do it on whatever size card you like. And you can see here, I've actually forgotten to colour in that. So I'm going to flip that over and get my black marker. And I'll just colour in the body. There we go, now his body's coloured in. So that's just another way you can use vellum. You can emboss it, then use alcohol markers on it. It can be die cut, and it just gives more options of media that you can work with. And then you can make it into cards or add it to scrapbooking, whatever projects you like. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give me the thumbs up and do subscribe if you like to be notified of more tutorials. And I will also add in the description below a link to my Facebook group, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond and Barossa Valley Crafts if you'd like to come and join us. Thank you for joining me. Bye.